What's up, Fragrant World? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. Today we're gonna do the giveaway reveal, the big video that not many of you are going to watch. But that's all right. Those of you who did have interest in winning a free ticket to Scent Explore, if you have no idea what that is, then you need to watch this video. Regardless, I'm still running the discount code SFP20 which is gonna be good for another couple weeks. If you're interested in purchasing a ticket, even if you don't win a ticket here, you can get it for an additional $20 off on top of the already existing discount. Again, if you wanna learn more about why that's valuable, then watch that video that just popped up there earlier. So, let's get to it. I have the list of people I'm gonna read you guys off. Those of you who mentioned that you had interest in winning a ticket, we have Hassan Gamble. I'm gonna mispronounce many of these names, so I apologize. Lee Ford, Josh Daniel, Kyle Chase, Wilson Siaviche, Siaviche, I'm not sure, I apologize. Chris Henderson, James Polo Mendez, CK, or also known as Colin. We have Marisa Hernandez, Giuseppe Gomez, Welster, Fraghead Nother, Marquise Smith, Dimitri Stamatis and Professor X, who is another reviewer here in the community. So here's our list. Before I click the winners here, I want to share with you my scent of the day. Today I wore Layden. This one lasted me all day, a good nine, 10 hour day, and it's still kicking. I love this stuff. One of my favorite scents, very versatile to me, and I love to wear it at this time of the year in the autumn. Now, a few of you had specified that you would bring a plus one. So, I have that noted in my phone next to your name. So I know whoever gets picked, I see if you have a plus one or not. Now, if you happen to win and you are not going to bring your plus one, then please let me know as soon as possible so I can give that extra ticket away to another person on this list who maybe will not be picked. So be considerate, be courteous. If I pick you and you win and you initially said you were gonna have a plus one but that changes, let me know right away. Easiest way to do that, send me an email. This is my email address, thestayfreshproductions at gmail.com. That is for you to contact me just in case you gotta make any changes. So let's get started here. We're gonna pick a random winner. First one up. So our first one up, winner is Dimitri Stamatis. And I believe you, it was just gonna be you. I had it written down here. Yeah, so just see you by yourself. So that's one ticket. First ticket goes to Dimitri, so congratulations. I will contact Max Forte and I will figure out how we're gonna get your ticket to you. Um, reach out to me via the email address I just put down earlier. Um, just so I have your email and so I can contact you back when I have the information. That goes for the rest of the winners. So let's pick another one, Marquise Smith. So congratulations to Marquise. And if I remember here, Marquise, you have a plus one here. So technically that's two tickets to Marquise. All right, so once again, Marquise, be a good person and if you decide that you're not gonna bring a plus one, then let me know right away. And in general, to all of you, if you're picked and even if it's just you and you decide you're not gonna attend the event, let me know so we can pass these tickets along. But for now, we only have one more winner to choose. Unfortunately, if I do choose someone who has a plus one, then obviously I only have one free ticket to give away, so you'll just have to probably have your partner purchase their own ticket, but they can of course do so with my discount code. So, our final winner after we get past this little warning, yes I know now, is going to be Chris Henderson. And Chris, you happen to have a plus one written down here. So once again, unfortunately I can only have one ticket to offer you, but whoever you would bring can use my discount code to get a little bit of money off. So those of you who were not chosen, you know, I apologize and Hopefully you'll be able or decide to attend the event anyway if you wanna purchase a ticket, but maybe hold off for a few days before you do that, just in case those who have been chosen are not able to attend. So, 
I'm not going to leave you guys with just that. I do have some fragrances I wanted to smell on camera. There's a gentleman by the name of Zacharias Nineve, and he has his own fragrance line. He's created, I believe he's calling his house Le Parfum Maison de Roi Darius, which is basically the perfume house of King Darius. Cool name. So he sent me three fragrances. I tried one of them already on skin, maybe about a week ago, and shared my first impressions with him. And really interesting presentation, something you don't see all that much in very kind of early stages of indie perfumery, but he has a little magnetic box, which is cool. And he sent me these little sprayers. So we're gonna spray these on paper. I'm gonna share with you what I think. First one up, this is called, I don't know how to say this. It's either Piacere or Piacere or Piacere or Piacere, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this means, so pardon me for that. But let's spray it on. Comes right out. This is a little herbal and fresh. I'm not sure what I'm smelling here. It's kind of cooling and almost minty in a way. He has the notes here, so I'm gonna look at these in just a second, but all right. I'm not sure what I'm smelling. Let's look at these notes. Ambergris, okay. It is a little bit on that musky side of things. Oud, green tea, and rose. Okay, that makes sense. This is nice, and the quality is pretty good as well. He says that all of these are very strong and then they will last a long time. The rose is coming out a little bit now. That's nice, it's elegant. Not getting a ton of oud, but that woodiness might speak a little bit more on the skin. Next will be Fiore, which I think is one I've smelled already. Wow. Okay, that's powerful stuff. It's a little bit sweet, but floral for sure. It's woody, maybe there's oud as well. There's something almost herbaceous about this too. Almost like violet leaves or something like that, but I could be wrong. Let's check out the notes. Fiore. We have musk, sandalwood, there's oud, okay. Ylang ylang, honey and lily, okay. So I was definitely getting the floral nature which is coming from the lily. There's a, not much sweetness, at least not yet, and at least not on paper, but that might come out more on the skin. The sweetness would come from the honey and the ylang ylang. Lily, I think, is providing kind of this almost sharp herbaceous scent I'm getting. And it is kind of, it has this like roundness that is from the musk, I think. This is, it's pleasant. I'll put one of these on skin before we finish up here. Last one up, this is called Velour. And I'm sure with time, Zacharias will kind of step up the presentation. You know, these are basic kind of travel sprays and obviously he printed out the name, but you know, he's starting from the bottom. So with time, you know, we'll probably see an upgrade in presentation. So let's see what this one's all about. The lure. Okay, this is the one I've smelled before. I hadn't smelled the other two. This one is very elegant. It's sweet, but it does have a darkness to it, but it's pretty rich. It, it's almost gourmand-like. The blend is interesting. Everything is all, it's kind of melding together. I'm not getting anything standing out right away. Let's see the notes. In the lure, we have caramel, amber, musk, and oud. Okay, so it's a pretty simple note breakdown as with most of these. It's warm, it is sweet. Once again, there's definitely a woodiness in the background. So I think I'm gonna try Fiore on my hand here and see how it does. Here we go. Wow, came out real wet <laughs> and it's gonna be a little shiny here. Definitely different on the skin. This is the one I think it was like musk and sandalwood and oud and uh, the honey and the lang lang, which I'm not still, still not getting much sweetness here, but it's nice. So I'm gonna spend more time with each of these. I can tell it is potent. That is for sure, it's potent stuff. The blend is good, I will give him that. He was saying that his blend was good and I was like, oh man, he's talking these things up. But the blend is nice. It's very smooth, very round. No way sharp or piercing or, you know, astringent or anything like that. So 
Uh, Zacharias, thank you for sending me these fragrances. I'll continue to spend some time with them. I do want to do them justice. But once again, those of you who were picked as winners, make sure that you're actually going to attend. If you're not, let me know if anything changes via my email address. Either way, send me an email to confirm. That's what I should have said from the beginning. Send me an email to confirm whether you're going to do it or you're not going to do it, or if you're going to do it and you're not gonna bring a plus one if you had one previously. So we'll get that moving and then we'll find a way to get you guys your tickets. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll be back on Monday with another video. We're smelling some really fun fragrances, so don't miss it. I had a wish list of fragrances I've been wanting to smell so bad for years. I finally got my nose on them and I'm sharing my thoughts with you. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank you once again for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.